I went to the woods because I wanted to live deliberately. I wanted to live deep and suck out all the marrow of life. Everybody. To put to rout all that was not life, and not when I had come to die, discover that I had not lived. If you become a better person, then you're, you start to be good for things, you know? You can fix problems. There are going to be plenty of times in your life when you're not happy. There might be years. And so it's a shallow boat in a very rough ocean. Happiness is something that descends upon you. Everyone knows that. It comes upon you suddenly. Happiness will descend upon you from time to time. And that's the best you've got. And then also perhaps during sorrowful times or worse, evil times. People that are depressed are just realistically reacting to a crummy circumstance in their life. Realistic reaction to a bad spot in their life. The fact that you've strengthened your character and that you're aiming at the highest that you can conceptualize, that'll give you the moral fortitude to endure without becoming corrupted during those times. And to be someone who can be relied upon in a crisis. Thing, I see a lot of depressed people that, in a sense, it makes sense. Right. I mean, you look at their life and you say, well, if you're not down about this, you should be. Let's have a dream which isn't under control. Well, something is going to happen to me that I don't know what it's going to be. And uh, you, you would dig that and come out of that and say, wow, that was a, a close shave, wasn't it? And then you would get more and more adventurous and you would make further and further out gambles as to what you would dream and finally you would dream where you are now you would dream the dream of living the life that you are actually living today you should be pursuing who you could be that'd be the first thing it's like because you're not who you could be and you know it you have guilt and shame and and regret say what are you reacting to that you're depressed about Let's put that on a to-do list and start, like you said, write it down and start crossing those things off. Let's figure what's an action plan to change this, an action plan to change Relate the next. Relate yourself for your lack of discipline and your procrastination and all your bad habits. You know perfectly well that you're not who you could be. And God only knows who you could be. And so that's who you should be striving, that's what you should be s striving for. Pain is a motivator. Pain is not necessarily always bad. If you're in pain, it's going to motivate you to move, to change something. And to mash that with drugs, to dull that pain with drugs, is not necessarily a good thing. It's, it's Murphy's Law. When things go wrong, they always seem to happen at once. And they just compound on top of each other. And they all hit you at the same time. Is there any justifiable reason? for my heart being broken. Is, is there any purpose in my pain? Can you contextualize my crisis? Can you make sense out of my sadness? Or did I just go through all of that for nothing? That doesn't mean give up. In fact, it means the opposite. It means it's time for you to fight harder, to dig in. It means it's time for you to go on the warpath. And that starts with one of the fundamental laws of combat leadership, prioritize next. What's the biggest problem? What's causing the most stress? be attempting to formulate some conception of the highest good that you can conceive of, that you can articulate. Because why not aim for that? It's like your life is short and, and it's troublesome. And perhaps you need to do something worthwhile with it. And if so, then you should do the most worthwhile thing. And you should figure out what that is for you.
everybody is fundamental. The ultimate reality, not God in a politically kingly sense, but God in the sense of being the self, the deep down basic whatever there is. And you're all that, only you're pretending you're not. Why didn't you give me a nice, neat life that made sense? Why is my life so complicated? Let's have a dream which isn't under control. Well, something is going to happen to me that I don't know what it's going to be. You would dream the dream of living the life that you are actually living today. <laughs> 